a message. Wagwan, real fam, I'm back. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about my health. I probably won't be on long because kids probably me like are bugging me, even though they're kind of occupied right now, but I don't feel like staying on that long. Probably depends. I've been working out a lot and I'm very happy that I've finally really grasped or really found the motivation to keep going because yeah I've always worked out like the past couple of years or whatever but I was never serious there was a certain point I just wasn't crossing and I think this year I finally crossed that point I finally met that threshold that I was just not getting to prior prior to this so I'm very happy finally seeing progress um I've been fasting as well I started fasting probably last year. I was using an app called Fastic. That app is awesome. It's free. Um, of course, not every feature in it is free, but if you still want to use it and just use the basics of fasting without all the extra classes and you know all the other ch the challenges they give you and stuff like that, if you just want to use it just for keeping up with your fasting times, yeah, it's free in that fashion. You don't have to pay for it. it ain't one of them apps where you download and it's like, oh my god, I have to can you use this pro feature. No. It's not like that. So that app's awesome. It's been helping me lose so much weight. It's been helping me keep up on my eating times and not eat past a certain time. You know, that whole late night eating thing? Gone. Um, I only do that occasionally on the weekends. It's still rare. And now I watch what I eat more around that time than I used to. So yeah, I've been doing a lot of great things on that. Fasting is, it's interesting. Like, there are different ways you can fast. I started off doing, I believe I started off last year probably doing like, was it 10 hours? I forgot how I started. It was like 10 or 11, 10 or 11 hours of not eating. Maybe 12. I don't remember, but I started off small. Of course, they recommend starting off small so your body can get used to it. And I started off small then, and I just kept going. I took a little break last year from fasting, or from fasting period. I was growing through some stuff and then this year I hopped right back on it and it's been great so far it's been great I love fasting it gives me so much more energy it gives me I mean I'm so much more alert I'm watching what I'm eating more I'm seeing the inches drop um so many benefits y'all <laughs> so so many benefits I've had a lot more energy yeah. drinking my kombucha love kombucha fasting has been doing, doing me pretty well and exercising I've been doing a lot of interesting new things on this fitness journey um because it's not just about fitness it's about my mental state as well so I've been working on that very hard um things are not totally easy here at home but I've really been working on myself you know because sometimes that's all I have time to do you know with homeschooling and now I've kind of put down homeschooling a little bit because you know it's the summer and I don't I'm not really steady with that. So I'm not fully focused on the kids, which is great. I'm not fully focused on that. I put more time on myself. And that's been great. So like I said, I've been doing better things regarding my fitness. I've also started taking cold showers, y'all. I started taking cold showers. I know y'all look at me like, what the fuck? Why would you do that? <laughs> there are a lot of benefits to cold showers. Now, my whole entire shower isn't cold. No, because hot water, you already know. You can't clean shit in cold water. You have to start off with hot water. That's what I do. After a couple of weeks of reading up on the benefits of cold showers, and, you know, I'm always, I'm usually a very cold person at times, so I'm just like, I was dreading it for the longest. I'm like, yeah, I ain't gonna try this. I'm not gonna try, um taking a cold shower there's no way in the world i can let cold water run on me like what the hell on purpose when i'm not out in the sun you know i thought about it but you know it's a mind thing it's a mind thing so when i finally put my mind to doing it i started doing it so when i shower now i use the hot water of course to wash my body put the soap on and all that but what i do is um <clears throat> i rinse in cold water or i might still rinse in the hot water and then turn the cold water on it just depends depends on how i feel but 
I've actually got used to standing under the cold water. The water, not lukewarm, I mean cold. I could turn it all the way to the cold. And I just, at first I started off like freezing my body off, just kind of dipping in there real quick. And then I would step out, and then I would dip back in and step out, you know, stuff like that. Just to get myself used to it. And even that's been helping. It's been helping my skin. My skin has looked so much better. Um, and even weight loss. I think they said even cold showers help with weight loss. I don't even know how, but I think it said it like shrinks the fat cells or something. It kind of shocks your body into um, getting rid of fat. I don't know. Don't ask these details in that. You're going to have to do your own research on that. Um, but that's what they claim. And I, I think I've actually been feeling the benefits of it. So it's been interesting. In the cold shower thing, I can only stay in the cold water maybe like for two minutes now i started off doing like maybe 30 seconds and then each time i shower it was getting longer and longer like i'll do 30 seconds and i'll do 40 seconds and so on and so forth so now i can go past a minute you know just standing in there and the trick to it is breathing you have to like breathe because that water's so cold it'll make you go <sighs> it'll make you fucking hyperventilate if you're not careful <laughs> but you have to breathe you have to control your breathing and that's the interesting thing about it. Controlling your breathing is actually... It's actually a therapeutic... It's actually a therapeutic type of feeling. And I never thought I would feel that. I'm like, what is this feeling? I started taking my cold showers and it's been making me feel better mentally. It's been, you know, like I said, making my skin feel better. It's been clearing up my thoughts. And I believe that it's been helping with weight loss. You know, I'm not really sure because like I said, I'm doing a couple of things to help with weight loss. But even still, that is just one of them. I've been feeling so much better. So I'm glad I started getting used to taking cold showers. You know, in the end, like I said, that's what I do. And I love it. I love it so far. And now I'm just, I'm looking forward to that cold water blast. Because, you know, summertime, of course, um, I usually hop in the shower. And half the time I hop in the shower, I'm already hot. So I'm like, why not? Why the fuck not? <laughs> just like that thing you know, on YouTube. I'm not on YouTube. Just like that girl from uh, TikTok who made that, that funny sound. I was like, yeah, why the fuck not? <laughs> Might as well. I said, why, why not? <laughs> why the fuck not? <laughs> so, that's been going very well. Um, What else have I been doing? Just eating healthy. Most obvious thing of all. I'm trying to eat as healthy as I can. I don't always eat like super healthy like on point. There are times, there are weeks where I just gotta eat what's in the house, or I might eat, eat some junk for a while. You know, my kids will have birthdays back to back because they're still having birthdays back to back. So I eat a lot of cake and ice cream, you know, but I always go outside and burn, burn the calories off um, like a day or two after because now what I don't do, I don't let the calories, I don't let too many calories sit on me too long because then I start feeling bad, like, okay, I ate like shit for two weeks. I haven't burned it off. Nah, see, I don't do that shit anymore. Now what happens to me, I feel guilty if I don't work out after about maybe three days, three, four days. I start feeling guilty if I don't do much moving. And I usually do some movement anyway. I'll get up and stretch. Like every day I'll do some type of stretching. I'll do my morning stretches. I'll do stuff like that. But like, I'm talking about like severe working out. Like actually get your ass up and start doing some heavy cardio. I need that heavy cardio because my heart, my heart has been needing it. My heart has been loving the effects of heavy cardio and that's why i've been doing more and more and more um so of course that along with eating healthy along with fasting along with cold showers and probably just whatever else i'm doing unknowingly <laughs> has been helping with weight loss and it's been great my fitness journey y'all has it's been going great and it's, it's helping me with my mental state as well. It's helping me think more positive again. It's helping me to stay thankful, always look on the bright side of things. You know, even when things are shit, like right now things are still shit, you know. <sighs> There's a lot of shit going on. If you guys been following me on Instagram, you know that, blah, fucking that, go away. If you guys been following me on Instagram, you know that my mother-in-law passed earlier this year. And that hasn't been easy on anyone. Uh, my husband, he's been going through it because, you know, that's his mom. And he's just been going through it. It's been a really depressive time for, you know, me, him, his brother, uh, even the kids to a certain extent. 
So, you know, dealing with that along with this COVID shit and money issues, gas prices, you know, all the shit that we go through every day, the annoying stuff. It just hasn't been easy for us. Still. But now what I'm doing, I'm trying to take better control of my health anyway. Because even though things are shit, it's like whatever I can control, I'm going to keep controlling, you know. I'm trying to focus less on what I can't control. <clears throat> focus on what I can control, which is my body and my thoughts. And certain things that I do. So that's what I've been doing. Finally getting this baby weight off. Y'all had five kids. And of course, most people tell me. Um, I still look good back five kids, which is great. Yeah, I still do, but I want to look even better. Like, this is not my final form. This isn't even my final form. Y'all don't understand. I was never at my final form. And people probably know that anyway. Um, if you see me in real life, yeah, I look smaller in certain pictures. Or just the angle of the way I take the picture or whatnot. But when I look back at it, back at it I'm like, oh my god, I look huge. You know? <laughs> so I'm like... No, I need to finally get rid of this baby belly. I need to finally get rid of this um, excess fat that I have on me. So that's what I've been doing. And it's been helping so much. So even though life is shit, my fitness journey is on par. If you're not following me on my fitness Instagram and you'd like to, go follow me now. I need some more friends over there. Some more motivation, some more tips. You know, just encouragement. More encouragement. I could always use more encouragement because that's what I do. I try to encourage others with what I do and to keep it moving because we all need some encouragement. We all need some motivation. People are down and out out here. And as far as fitness, we all need fitness motivation. We're not always on point for stuff. You know, people fall off the bandwagon. So if you need some motivation, um, go follow my fitness page. I post practically every day because I work out um, almost every day or at least like four or five times a week if possible and I like updating my progress there so if you just want to check that out go ahead and do so y'all know I'm a graphic designer I like designing stuff make it look all pretty and fancy and you know just doing pretty stuff pretty decorations on my page or whatever make sure you go follow me there like I said I'm always updating so yeah I believe that's it. I can't remember what else I have to say about my fitness journey besides, you know, I'm taking, I'm drinking shit, still drinking shit tons of water. I drink a lot of water. That's never stopped. <laughs> I'm always drinking water. Um, I take vitamins. That's never stopped either. Everything's flourishing. My hair is flourishing. Um, my skin is flourishing. Um, yeah, I've switched up my, my uh, hair products and some of my facial products. That could be a whole nother video, but I've just been changing some things to fit who I'm turning into and who I am at the moment. And I've been loving it. So, yeah. I believe that's all I have to say. Leave your comments and opinions down below. Let me know what you've been doing this summer. Um, what have you been doing to stay in shape? Everything. Let me know down below. And I hope you guys are having a great day, second hour, month, minute, and week. Thank you for watching. Peace out.